Here is Danny and today I got a fun little package in the mail some days ago. It is a light gun that you can use in games like Battlefield 5. Basically you have a camera that is in the front and aimed at your TV. And you fire a to the eye invisible laser at your screen. And from there the camera sees it in slow motion where it is. And from there it allows you to shoot people. It is on Kickstarter but it is already fully funded so it seems to actually come out since it is in the last part of production. Hence why they also sent me a prototype of the gun itself. While it is all a bit wonky and hacky but that comes with the prototype territory. When you get it to work it definitely has potential. So I use my friend Hans who you might know from his big claim to fame. As the person sitting right next to Rival X Factor during the Battlefield 1 review to record this. We tried Battlefield 5 which requires a little hack. Which meant we had to play single player. It also works on games like Cyberpunk but I don't actually have that one. It removes the gun from the screen so you get more immersed and you don't see a double gun. And it worked for the most part at least. While it didn't move the camera itself as I initially expected. When we aimed left the bullets went left and when we aimed right at the screen the bullets went right. It does miss some UI elements to guide you, but it does seem to mostly work and there is some good potential if the game actually gets made with light guns in mind. Think arcade games meant for a physical arcade hall. Also we had some calibration issues which caused the bullets to not line up exactly with where we aimed, but with more time in perfecting it I guess that could work better too. But even then you can switch from gun mode to a normal controller, since the handles of it can pivot. As a controller it is okay. It is on the same level I guess as those controllers that you give to your friend on the Gamecube, while you use the original Nintendo one as player one. But it might be better when it is actual in full production and not a fully 3D printed kit. If you are thinking hey that's neat, it is currently 100 bucks under Kickstarter which includes the controller and the camera. But the campaign ends on the 19th together with the Battlefoods 2042 full release. So what do you think? Any potential? Let me know in the comments. But hey that is all I got for now, subscribe for more, this was Danny and I, see you on the Battlefield.